Hello friends, in today's video, I am going to show you how to make augmented reality using OpenCV Python. Augmented reality is a technology which involves interaction of real life objects with humans with the use of computers. You can make it by following the program which I am going to show you just now. Follow my steps and you can easily make this program of augmented reality. This is an example of the program of augmented reality which we are going to do. As I had said, it involves interaction of re real life objects with humans using computers. So let's get started. First, just create a new folder known as AR. In that, do shift right click to open PowerShell window. Now just type code space dot to open Visual Studio code. Now we don't need PowerShell window, so I'll just close it. Now this is a Visual Studio code. Let's create a new file ar.py. That's a Python file. So now we basically need three modules. That is CV2, NumPy, and SYS. I'll quickly tell you how to install them. Just go to the terminal and type pip install the name of the module. For example, NumPy. I have already installed it, so it is showing recommend already satisfied. So now let's proceed. Now I'm initializing a variable video that is cv2.video capture 0. I'm using 0 as I have a webcam. If you're using a USB camera, you should type 1. Now the background video, I'll say cv2.video capture the name of the video that is vid.mp4. If you have another name, you please type that and make sure that this video is in the same folder that is AR now I'm just creating a reference image which will read the webcam and a flag variable known as 0 initialized as 0 now while true that's an infinite loop success comma image will be video dot read success is just a blank image and you don't need to pay attention to that now image will be like capturing each and every frame of the webcam now if the that image is not none, that it's not a blank image, so I would like to resize it to my uh, dimensions, that is 1500 by 850 pixels. And for obviously we also need to resize the reference image as we are going to compare them, so they have to be of the same size. So I'll just write this line again for the reference image. And uh, basically in this webcam, there's an issue that whenever if you like raise your right hand, it will show that it has your left hand and vice versa. So to avoid that error, I'll just like to flip the image by one. That is, it will flip from left to right. And now I'm just initializing a variable bg that is it will capture each and every frame of the background video. So now I will also have to resize this background image to the same pixels. So I'll just write again that line and just replace the img by bg. Now if the variable flag is 0, so reference image will be equal to the image. I will tell you about the flag later on. Now we are basically going to capture the differences between the images that is the initial background and the change in the background. So I'll just write these two lines to get the changes. And to get the net change, I'll add the two differences. Now I'll just convert it into absolute value. And if it is greater than, if the absolute difference is less than 25, so it will be equal to 0. You can change the value 25 between 25 and 40 according to your requirement that value will determine the change in the background so if you keep a lower value it will determine the slightest change and a higher value will determine a great change now a variable gray uh, i am writing cv2.cvt color difference dot hash type np dot uint8 dot comma cv2 dot color bgr to gray which means it will convert the entire image into grayscale i have initialized numpy as np now I'm just converting this gray into absolute value uh, which will it will just compare the basic shades of gray if it is less than 10. I will not suggest you to change the value of 10 unless you are exactly sure of it. 
now i'll just create a gray mask uh, and fg mask is like the front layer of the entire video which uh, i'll get the type and if the mask is greater than 0 to set it to 255 which is a co required combination now a new variable fg mask underscore inv which will like perform the function of cv2 that bitwise not to fg mask and then fg image which is the final front layer of our image it will be the function cv2 bitwise and the syntax for this is two times the image and then the mask and bg image that is the background image the final background image to cv2 bitwise and bg comma bg mask that is fg mask dot inv and dht which is the final image after doing all this cropping and work will be cv2 dot add bg image and fg image now i'll just write cv2 dot im show that is it will open a new window named as background removal and it will play dht that is each and every frames of our video now key is equal to cv2 dot weight key 5 and 0 xff which means that it will capture any pressing of the keyboard button while the video is running so now if q is pressed i want to break it that is to end the program else if d is pressed so then flag will be 1 that is a background will be captured i'll tell you how this works in the starting the background must be empty like there must be no person in the background so that means that you have to keep a background that is finite that is which does not change just like an empty room and even you should not be visible from the webcam so once that is done you should press the key d to capture the background from here your program will start and if you want to reset the background just press r so the background will be reset and now just see we to destroy all videos and video dot release to end it and see once you run it your program is ready you can either keep an image in the background just like a stage show or you can keep a live video that is just like you can be in the jungle with animals so now we have finally made an augmented reality program using opencv python and you can easily make it if you just try this program and i'll ensure you that it works perfectly fine please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you very much for watching Thank you.